Boys and girls, uh, a very good afternoon to you all. And we have a very, very important topic to discuss today. As you see that I have uh, written an article on the board so that we can explain it properly to you. Now, the topic that we are going to discuss is the heart of electrostatics. And uh, the topic is electric potential, as you all see. Electric potential. Every point in an electric field is at a certain electric potential. But as we know, electric potential is not going to be a potential ka difference. Hota. And electric potential at any point will be the electric potential difference between a reference and that point. That reference will be chosen to be infinity. Yes, your thought process is right. It's the same as gravitation. There is no such thing as gravitational potential. It is gravitational potential difference. The gravitational potential at a point is the gravitational potential ka difference between infinity and that point. Similarly, there is no such thing as electric potential difference. It is actually potential energy. The potential energy ka difference for a unit charge will be called potential difference. So we will start with potential energy of a charge in an electric field or potential energy ka difference between any two points in an electric field potential energy ka difference for a test charge q naught in an electric field potential energy is basically work done you know Whenever work is done against a force, it becomes the potential energy. And if it is done by the field, it becomes kinetic energy. See, here the force is gravitation. If I leave this mass free, the force acting on this mass due to gravity will become its kinetic energy. And if I had to move it against the field, will have to apply an external force which is equal and opposite to the force acting on it. Here it is the weight. And I can move it from and I can move it against the field without acceleration. That is moving it with uniform velocity. I will have to apply a force and that force has to be equal and opposite to the force that is acting on it. The external agent, the work done by the external agent is positive and the work done by the force is negative. To make a long story short, actually when we do work against gravity, there is an external agent which is applying an equal and opposite force and that work done becomes the potential energy. The difference between the two points, if you want to study the potential energy at a point, the reference has to be taken at infinity and if you leave it free, the same potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy. Let's apply it to electrostatics. We will start with electric potential energy ka difference and then bring it down to electric potential. You can hear the lecture or keep writing it slowly. Let's see. The topic is electric potential. Let me see if the video is working. Yeah. Let us consider two points in an electric field. The electric field can be uniform or non uniform. A and B are two points in an electric field. A, B. We place a test charge plus Q0 at A. I made a few cases. Now, if the charge is free to move, it will experience the force 
a lot to feed and will gain kinetic energy. Just imagine the charge plus Q naught at A. Leave it free. It will experience a force along the field and will accelerate along the field and will gain kinetic energy. We did that question also. Now, if the charge Q naught, the test charge Q naught, is to be moved from A to B, this is moving against the field now. An external force must be applied to make the charge move against the field. And we can move this charge in such a way that is always in equilibrium. Which means that we have to move the test charge plus Q0 against the field but without acceleration. It means we will always apply a force which is equal and opposite to the force acting on the test charge Q0 at that point. So the net force will become zero. Despite applying a force, there is no acceleration because you are applying a force which is equal and opposite to the force acting on the charge due to the electric field. Thus, the charge will always be in equilibrium. We can move the charge in such a way that it is always in equilibrium. That is, it is moved without acceleration. This is possible if we apply a force on the charge which is equal and opposite to Q0T at every point along its path. This is the beauty of it. Just it is similar to gravitation. Exactly. That is in a vertical plane. Over here also you can have the field, field like this. But I deliberately kept the field like this. We have a test charge plus Q0 at A. We have to move this test charge from A to B that is against the field. It is necessary and important that we apply an equal and an opposite force by an external agent. And the force by the external agent must be equal and opposite to the applied force at all times. This work done by the force in the electric field is stored as electric potential energy. If the work is done against the forces of gravitation by the external agent, it is stored as gravitational potential energy. And if the work is done by an external agent doing work against the electric field, then it will be stored as electrostatic potential energy. He says if WAB is the work done by the force to carry a charge plus Q0, this force is an external agent there, yeah? to carry a charge plus Q0 from A to B while keeping it in equilibrium will give the change in potential energy between the two positions. Will give the change in potential energy between the two positions. I have called that delta U. And delta U will be UB minus U. This is the work done to move the test charge Q0 from A to B against the field and without acceleration. Means that I have always kept the charge in equilibrium and that is why it is stored as electrostatic potential energy. Cut difference. The electrostatic potential energy cut difference between any two points B and A is the work done to move the test charge Q0 from A to B while keeping the charge in equilibrium. If we have to find the electrostatic potential energy associated with the charge Q0 at that point, then we will take a reference as infinity. No need to do it there, but, it will. but it's true. The electrostatic potential energy at a point B in an electric field is the work done to move the test charge Q0 from infinity to that point, keeping the charge in equilibrium. That will be the electrostatic potential energy at that point. Actually, 
इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी कोई चीज नहीं होती पोटेंशियल एनर्जी का डिफरेंस ही होता है एंड इफ द इनिशियल रेफरेंस इज इन्फिनिटी देन वी कैन से दैट इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एट दैट पॉइंट इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एट अ पॉइंट इन एन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज द वर्क डन टू मूव द टेस्ट चार्ज क्यू नॉट फ्रॉम इन्फिनिटी टू दैट पॉइंट इफ देर आर टू पॉइंट इन द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड वी विल से दिस रिप्रेजेंट्स द इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी का डिफरेंस As you see on the board now, we have something called potential difference. Potential difference is also potential energy का difference. There is no such thing as potential difference actually. We have potential energy difference. But when this potential energy difference is for a unit charge. we will simply call it potential difference between the two points just as in gravitation just as in gravitation the gravitational potential energy difference is for a certain mass but gravitational potential difference is simply for a unit mass similarly we have discussed the electric potential energy difference between two points in an electric field if there is no electric field there will be no work done kallas the potential difference between any two points in an electric field is the work done in carrying a unit positive charge from A to B, work done in carrying a unit positive charge from A to B. A, no need for a W. A B is for charge Q. Is the work done in carrying a unit positive charge from A to B while keeping the charge in equilibrium? It's the same thing. The potential energy का difference between any two points in an electric field. For a unit charge, for a unit positive charge, is called potential difference between the two points. The potential difference between any two points in an electric field is the work done in carrying a unit positive charge from A to B while keeping the charge in equilibrium. So, when the potential energy का difference is for a unit charge. we replace the symbol u by v rather delta v delta u represents the potential energy the difference between any two points in electric field for a test charge plus u not and if u not is one coulomb it would be delta v and u will be replaced by v the potential difference between any two points is delta v v b minus v a is the work done 
to move or carry a unit positive charge from A to B while keeping the charge in equilibrium. If W E B represents the work done to move a charge Q0, then if we have to find the work done for a unit positive charge, we will simply divide by Q0. So W A B upon Q0. Potential difference between any two points. Units would be joule per coulomb. Volt. Volt is W upon Q. ML2 T minus 2 upon IT. ML2 T minus 3 I minus 1. This gives you the units and units and dimensions. Here we have defined potential difference between any two points. Now to define the electric potential at a point in an electric field, we will just take a reference. Electric potential is also potential difference only, but between a reference point and that point. Electric potential at any point in an electric field is the work done to bring the unit positive charge from infinity to that point. That reference is chosen to be infinity. Electric potential is also electric potential difference. And electric potential difference is electric potential energy difference for a unit positive charge. Electric potential at a point in an electric field is the work done to move a unit positive charge from infinity chosen as a reference. Whenever you say electric potential to yourself, say it is potential difference between infinity and that point. The potential difference can be between any two points. But when we say electric potential at a point, it is the potential difference between infinity and that point. And when you say potential difference between two points, think about potential energy. Cut difference for a unit charge. What I can say is that the electric potential at a point is the electric potential energy difference between infinity and that point. Okay, in between I think I missed something. We just defined one volt here. The potential difference between any two points is said to be one volt. The potential difference between any two points is said to be 1 volt. If one job of work is done in moving a unit positive charge from one point to another while keeping the charge in equilibrium. We have, we have just defined 1 volt. You used to define it in classes 9th and 10th only, but you never used to define it properly or think about it and never brought it from the concept of potential energy, it was simply told to you and you used to cram it up. No, though you can do it. Ultimately, though, yaadi karna hai. But the thing is, you should know what electric potential is all about. So, electric potential at infinity is regarded to be zero. So, from here, Vb minus Vb, this is the potential difference between two points A and B. Electric potential at the point is the potential difference between that point and infinity. Vb minus A. W infinity to B upon Q0. This means the electric potential at any point B in an electric field is the work done to move a unit positive charge from infinity to that point. This is exactly what I have done. Keeping the unit positive charge always in equilibrium. We can remove the script and write simply V is equal to W1.
I hope I can rub the board. You can even take a screenshot and then keep it doing again. So I will just <laughs> explain it once again. You will also have to do it at least twice or thrice. We started with the two points A and B in an electric field. We know that any discharge Q naught at A. If it has to be moved from A to B against the field, an external shoot must be there. That work done to move the charge from one point to another in an external electric field simply represents the potential energy the difference between the two points. UB minus U is W A. But it's only there. The, then we define the potential difference between two points in an electric field. That is also potential energy by the but for a unit positive charge. So delta U becomes delta V and UB minus U becomes V D minus V. And potential difference between any two points in an electric field is the work done to move the unit positive charge from one point to another in the field while keeping the charge in equilibrium all the time. Then we define one volt. The basic thing is about electric potential. I told you that I will start from electric potential energy and come to electric potential. Electric potential at a point in an electric field. Yeah, yeah the potential difference. But if it is defined, if it is for a unit positive charge. But if the reference is infinity, but if the reference is infinity, we will call it electric potential at that point. Right? I'm going to rub this now. And you will write it down with your own hands and go through it. Boys and girls, dear students, fellow countrymen, <laughs> you must do this today and read it at least three times. I have just finished the board. I have something written here, but I want to add something here. Right? I am going to add something in the end. Once we have defined electric potential at a point in an electric field, put a note there. Put a note there in the end. Electric at a point in an electric field. No doubt it is the work done to move unit positive charge from infinity to that point, keeping the charge in equilibrium. It's simply the electric potential energy difference between the two points. Electric potential energy difference for a unit charge between the two points. So what I am trying to tell you is that electric potential is electric potential energy difference between In an electric field is simply the electric potential energy difference for a unit charge, for a unit positive charge between infinity and that point. If we start the reverse from here, <laughs> if it is between two points, it will be called electric potential difference between the two points and it is electric potential difference between two points will be for a unit positive charge. And if we want to talk about potential energy difference, we will simply multiply by Q0. Reverse curve here. Anyway. Now, I am just going to do one more thing with you today. And please see that the basic lectures of theory, the first two lectures are extremely important. 
then the mathematics will obviously take over. What I have here is electric field and potential gradient. I hope you understand the word gradient. Remember we did uh, velocity gradient, change in velocity with distance. Pressure gradient, change in pressure with distance. Temperature gradient, change in temperature with distance. Here we are going to have potential gradient. Here we are going to have potential gradient. Which will be changing potential with distance. But the girls, if we are moving against the field or the concept of potential difference can also be understood. There is a certain electric potential at a point whether we bring a test charge or not. Eh? Anyway, what can that be? Potential difference can also be understood by moving the charge by the field. Charge will move from higher potential to lower potential. It's very simple. Charge will move from higher potential to lower potential. We can also say that electric potential is the degree of electrification. Anyway, let us today discuss electric field and potential gradient. Tomorrow we have another beautiful lecture, you know. We are trying to relate the potential difference between two points in an electric field. There is always a potential difference between any two points in an electric field because work has to be done to move a unit positive charge from infinity to A and different work has to be done to move the unit positive charge from infinity to B. And from A to B it is called the potential difference. Thus, any two points in an electric field Because different amounts of work will have to be done to move the unit positive charge from infinity to those two different points. We will relate the potential difference between the two points in an electric field with the electric field intensity. Q0. If I have a test charge Q0 at A, then the force acting on the test charge Q0 at A is Q0 into E. And this force will be along the field. To keep this charge in equilibrium, I will have to take the help of an external agent. Q0 in equilibrium because I have to move the charge from A to B, keeping the charge in equilibrium. The force on the test charge at A is Q0 A along the field. The external agent will apply a force opposite to the field. Here, yeah. this is the force acting, and the work done by the external agent is positive. Work done by the external agent in moving the charge Q0 from A to B is W is F into minus PR. Pagia Sapa. Lichtia minus PR. Uh, so we regard this to be the origin and this direction as positive. And this it actually DR is negative. Because we are moving opposite to the field. That is why it has been taken to be negative. So DW is F into minus PR. Mark Kargir Koyam. DW is 
naught into e into dr the negative sign comes up here dw by q naught is minus e dr now by definition the left hand side of this equation is the potential difference between the points start from here but by definition the left hand side is the potential difference between the two points in an electric field the work done to move a unit positive charge which is dw by q naught represents the work done represents the potential difference between any two points in an electric field and this potential difference let me call it uh, dv represents the potential difference dv between the two points in an electric field therefore dv is equal to minus dv from here dv dw one q naught is a dv and which is minus e dr or e is equal to minus dv by dr it is so beautiful now let's see what is dv by dr here dv by dr you know it could be delta v by delta delta v is the small potential difference between two points in an electric field which are separated by delta r and when we will take its limit as delta r approaches zero it will be the rate of change of potential at that point it represents the potential gradient here dv by dr represents the potential gradient or the rate of change of potential with distance or the rate of change of potential with distance in an electric field lying along the field will always have a difference of potential it means the potential is changing this rate of change of potential is called a potential gradient thus electric field intensity You can also say the electric field intensity at a point is the negative of the potential gradient at that point. एक ही बात, because we have used the word potential gradient there. Electric field intensity at a point is the negative of the potential gradient. At that point, more will be the rate of change of potential, more will be the electric field at that. physical significance or you can say uh, the negative sign shows so what other paper mein the negative sign shows that the direction of electric field Very important. 
बहुत यूज करूंगा मैं द डायरेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज दैट ऑफ डिक्रीज इन पोटेंशियल वन गेल्स वंस अगेन वी आर ट्राइंग टू रिलेट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड विथ पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट वी रिटाइज दट देर इज अ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन एनी टू पॉइंट नाइन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड फॉर पॉइंट नाइन अलॉन्ग द फील्ड We have two points A and B in the electric field. These two points are very close to each other, separated by the area. The potential at A is V and the potential at B is V plus T. If we have a test charge Q naught at A plus Q naught at A, then work will have to be done against the field by an external agent to move this from A to B. This we know is the potential difference between the two. This work done is given by F into minus theta, and D W one Q naught is minus E V R. This is the potential difference between the two points. D V is minus E V R. E is minus E V R. D V by D R or D by D R of V. D V by D R नहीं बोलते हैं. D by D R of V. Delta V by delta R. More important than that. D by D R of V represents the potential gradient. On the rate of change of potential and distance, as we move along the field, the potential goes on decreasing. Thus, electric field intensity at a point is the negative of the potential gradient at that point, or the negative of the rate of change of potential at that point. Ek hi baat hai. The negative sign shows that the direction of electric field is that of decreasing potential. Now we will use this result directly without bothering about. Bringing a test charge or not, you will see it's a beautiful thing, and you will be able to find the value of electric potential at a point, knowing the electric fields at that point, which we know. Now we will use this expression or the definition to determine the electric field due to a point charge. Then we will take the principle of superposition. One more interesting thing. Let's write it down. Electric potential is the scalar quantity, whereas uh, Potential gradient is a vector quantity because electric field. No. Electric potential is a scalar quantity. Electric potential. As it's negative, okay, to electric field at that point. Electric potential is a scalar quantity, where electric potential gradient is a vector quantity, as it is equal to electric field at that point. The negative sign shows that the direction of electric field is that of decreasing potential. We can use it directly. बहुत बढ़िया लाइन है. More about electric potential. I think I just have that time, you know. How many minutes do I let you? Just thirty-nine minutes into a lecture. Uh, mm -hmm. Should we call it a day? What do you say, boys and girls? Oh ho! Thoda sa. Anyway, chalo bus karte hain. ठीक है? Bus karte hain. Okay, that's it. Here goes, please. Enjoy your work. Go through it. I've spoken a lot and I've repeated things so many times. please see that you do the same when we come tomorrow you should know the concept of electric potential have a good day bye bye